your knowledge of with hk i hope you all are doing well and today's video is gonna be about microbiology and biotechnology viva or mcqs questions and answers so let's get right into the video without wasting any time first question is organisms that live in an intimate non-parasite relationship with the host are called answer is common cells in this association one member gain benefit or one member gain organism gains benefit whereas the host is neither benefited nor harmed okay so uh, here we can uh, i'll explain you with an example okay i'll explain with an example example is staphylococcus aureus with in uh, the association is with host uh, that is a skin of human or animal okay so a staphylococcus aureus gains benefit uh, from the ambient condition by the body's mucous membrane so these microorganisms the staphylococcus microorganisms are found in oral and nasal cavity here the benefit of a staphylococcus aureus from the host is uh, having a shelter okay so uh, by this uh, we can uh, we can get to know that the benefit is in the sense uh, that organism may get obtained nutrients shelter or growth support from the host okay so moving on to the next question the second question presence of pathogenic bacteria in blood is called as bacteremia answer is bacteremia yes why because the uh, human uh, blood is considered as completely sterile completely sterile no microorganisms are found it comp uh, it comprise only blood cells platelets and plasma okay so in blood what are the components are present uh, blood cells platelets and uh, uh, blood cells platelets and the plasma okay these are the only components which should be present in the blood and if bacteria is present it means the blood is infected with bacteria okay the infection that infection is known as bacteria so the third question uh, a disease transmitted by direct contact is called answer contagious infection here contagious infection is uh, it is spread from person to person okay person to person example is uh, flu uh, or cold uh, so the next question is uh, the fourth question a chemical agent that inhibit bacterial growth is uh, answer bacteriostatic here i would like to discuss uh, the most uh, uh, discuss that most of the time uh, students get confused between bacteriostatic and bactericidal okay so let me uh, clear this bacteriostatic is a condition bacteriostatic is a condition where the antibiotic inhibits inhibits or suppress or stops the growth growth of bacteria okay that means keeping them in a stationary phase whereas bactericidal whereas bactericidal here antibiotic kills the bacteria okay that means a death of bacteria okay uh, next question is fifth question the process by which all pathogenic microorganisms are destroyed but not necessarily their spores is destroyed that in uh, that procedure is known as disinfection a small note here as well uh, disinfection and sterilization okay 
here also students get confused this infection and sterilization both are no doubt both are uh, decontamination process but this infection destroys the pathogenic microorganism not the spore okay disinfection destroys the pathogenic uh, microorganisms but not their spores whereas sterilization whereas sterilization this sterilization kills the pathogenic microorganisms as well as their spores okay thank you please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new videos update take care bye